Ah, here we go again. Ronald Almer Fisher was born in East Finchley, London, England, on February 17, 1890, to George and Kate Fisher. He had four siblings, three sisters, and one brother. Fisher's early life and adolescence were filled with hardship. His dad was a partner in a successful fine arts dealership, but the business soon fell apart after the death of Fisher's mother, Kate, from peritonitis. Fisher was only 14 then. His family's fortune quickly faded after the fact, but Fisher still had excellent schooling in the Harrow boarding school, not because his family could afford it, but because of his brilliant mind. His immensely bad eyesight, yet another hardship, actually worked in his favor as his lack of eyesight developed his ability to visualize complex math problems in his head. After Harrow school, he was granted a scholarship to attend Cambridge University for mathematics. The rest is history. Ronald Fisher developed the analysis of variance, or ANOVA, which is used to see whether or not means that several groups are equal. ANOVA can be used to do a t-test of more than two groups. ANOVA is used in present day to compare three or more groups means in order to find statistical significance. If ANOVA didn't exist, it would be impossible to determine statistical significance of results of experiments consisting of three groups or more. Ronald Fisher created the F distribution in 1924, which is used to see whether two independent estimates of a population variance are homogeneous or not. In 1925, Fisher released his book, Statistical Methods for Research Workers. By the time it was published, it received no positive feedback. However, it was soon seen to innovate statistics and biology. In 1928, Fisher published Studies in Crop Variation, a real page turner, which recommended and popularized the maximum likelihood estimation. MLE. To summarize MLE, it's a fancy way of saying I'm going to estimate unknown parameters the best I can with the given data by maximizing the likelihood of the parameter fitting the data. It's essentially what we do in every hypothesis test. Fisher's recommendation of the method propelled it to be the most common and foundational method of parameter estimation in statistics. In 1935, Fisher released his book, The Design of Experiments, which popularized the concept of the null hypothesis which is used in almost all hypothesis tests in order to create the decision to reject or accept it. Without the null hypothesis, there would be no importance of a p-value because there would be no way to determine the conclusion of an experiment based off the p-value. He joined the Royal Society in 1929 and was knighted in 1952 by Queen Elizabeth II. He was involved with eugenics back when it was still popular and he was an outspoken advocate. He had eight children, two sons and six daughters. One of his daughters, Joan, married George E.P. Box, another famous statistician. Fisher's significant contributions to the field of statistics, genetics, and biology did not go unnoticed. He's been named the single most important figure in 20th century statistics and is credited with laying the foundations of modern statistics and experimental design. He's known as one of the three principal founders of population genetics alongside Sewall Wright and J.B.S. Haldane, and he's also known as the greatest biologist since Darwin. <laughs>